Cascading Style Sheets, or CSS for short, is a powerful tool for formatting and presenting entire websites in an effective, precise, and efficient manner. With CSS, an entire website's formatting can be controlled from within a single, central file of style settings. In this movie tutorial, we explore the power of CSS by building a style sheet to control the styles as shown for this completed five-page website. It contains styles for the body of the overall page, headings, links, and unordered lists. Now let's take a look at our starting point website. As you can see, the site's pages currently have no style whatsoever. Let's navigate to the home page and use our usual view source method to open up index.htm in the editor. Okay, now let's explore the three available approaches for styling a website. One approach is to embed these style settings directly into the individual body, heading, paragraph, and other tags of each page sprinkling bits of style here and there throughout the pages. Unfortunately, that haphazard approach requires a great deal of effort to both create the individual styles and to maintain them consistently throughout a site. A more efficient approach is to place style rules within a style section in the head area, like the style section here in this page. These style rules will affect the entire web page. For example, a style rule for paragraphs placed here would affect all paragraphs on this page. However, this approach still would not affect the paragraphs on any other pages within the site. An even more centralized and efficient approach is still needed, especially for larger websites. The best approach is to use a separate external file of style rules that can affect our entire website. So let's delete that style section and replace it with a link tag, which applies the styles contained in a separate style sheet file to our page. We'll use an href equal to our style sheet's file name main.css. Our link tags will always have a rel equal style sheet attribute to indicate the relationship our HTML page has to its linked style sheet and will always have a type equal text slash CSS attribute so the browser knows it is just a text file containing our CSS rules. Then we'll close the tag with a space and slash. Now any style rules contained in our main.css file will be applied to our HTML page. Further, if we link our other pages to this same style sheet, we'll be able to control our entire site's formatting from a single file. In anticipation of that, let's copy our link tag for future pasting. Then we'll save our changes. Let's return to the browser and refresh our home page. Notice the changes in the page's background and fonts. Where are these changes coming from? Well, let's examine main.css, which I already have open in Notepad. You can see it has a comment section at the top, and then below that, a body style that sets margins, fonts, and colors. Now let's add our own styles. First, we'll create an H1 style to place a background image named bg underscore coffeebeans.jpg behind and to the sides of the existing logo image. We'll use H1 as the selector because the logo image is inside an H1 tag at the top of every page of our site. Let's save that change and test it. Returning to the browser and refreshing, we can see that the logo image and its new tiled background image work seamlessly together. However, because of the page margin, the H1's background does not extend to the edges of the browser. We'll fix that later. More importantly, what about our other pages? Look, they still have no style because they still have no link tag. So let's paste that link tag we copied earlier into each of our other pages. To do so, let's navigate to the About Us page and use the usual View Source method to open it in our editor. Just above the closing head tag, we'll paste our link tag. With that in place, let's save and close the page. Now we'll continue this process with our other three pages. First, the Entertainment page. Next, we'll do the same for the Coffees page. Lastly, we'll apply this to the Contact Us page.
With all five pages linked to main.css, let's take a look at our resultant site. Now we have consistent styles applied across all our site's pages. And we are also now able to make some site-wide changes from just the style sheet file. To demonstrate this, let's return to main.css and make changes to all the H2 and H3 headings in our entire site. We'll create a style rule for H2, H3 and use the font family property to list Georgia, Times, and Serif fonts. Let's also change their text color to 994818, a shade of brown, and then save our style changes. Back in the browser, we'll refresh. Now we can see that our H2s and H3s have picked up the new color and fonts. Visiting the other pages, we confirm that these styles are consistently applied across our site. Wow, this is a powerful approach. OK, back to our style sheet file to improve those boring looking links. Since links are A tags, we can style them all at once using an A selector, which is a whole lot better than having to style each individual link on each page. We'll set their color to CC6633, a brownish orange color. And turn off underlining for them by setting the text decoration property to none. Then save. We'll return to the browser and refresh. Voila! Our links have a more subtle appearance that coordinates better with our design. However, the background image on our H1 still does not extend to the edges of the page. Also notice on the entertainment page's unordered list, the browser is displaying its boring default bullets. It is doing the same for the list on the coffees page, as well as the bulleted list on the Contact Us page. Let's return to the editor to improve those areas. First, in the existing H1 rule, we'll add a second declaration for the margin. Since the body already has a left and right margin of 40 pixels, we'll set a negative 40 pixel margin to counteract that and attain a zero overall margin. So we'll give the H1 a zero top and bottom margin and a negative 40 px left and right margin. Finally, we'll add a new rule for UL and use the list style image property to display our coffee bean bullet images URL of bean underscore bullet dot gif. Let's save our new styles and see how they look. If we return to the browser and refresh, we can see our bean bullets displaying and our H1 background image extending to the very edges of the page. Furthermore, those changes apply to all other pages too. The power and efficiency resulting from separating HTML structure from its CSS presentation is awesome compared to the traditional method of embedding the styles directly within each page's individual tags. That is why most professional sites today use this approach. Before we conclude, Here's a tip to help ensure that your CSS style rules are all valid. First, let's go back to our style sheet file. Then select all of our style sheet code and copy it with the copy command. Next, we go to our browser and navigate to the W3C's free CSS validation service, an industry standard validator. You can see their URL displaying in my browser's address area. From there, We'll scroll down, as needed, to the third input area where we'll paste our copied styles. With that in place, we click the Check button and hope for no errors or warnings. In this case, our style sheet is valid and it displays our valid styles. If there are any errors, it points them out to you as well. It is recommended that you always validate your CSS. Validating your HTML or XHTML is also highly recommended. That topic is discussed within the Validating Web Pages movie tutorial within the XHTML topic 